Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Here's Candace. Good, good morning. morning. Hey, good morning. Now, uh, Pippin is where he always is. Mm -hmm. Morning, Pip. Pip, when you going to do something different? It's okay. As long as he's comfortable. <laughs> uh, Candace is doing a little graphic work first thing. And I'm doing a little order pulling first thing. Got two makeup orders going to non-viewers. I think I think most of my sales today are viewer sales, to be honest. <laughs> um, this was Monday, 25 listings. So good Monday, especially considering all the orders we got out. So right now we're sitting at 50 out of 620. And we have 31 days. So we have 27 days to go to get... 570 more listings so we'll see I, i'll i'll know better by the end of the week i think how i feel about that goal and uh i mean i we should hit it but we'll see so let's pull some ebay orders though first up david from the youtube channel nc picker says he has yard sale vids bank till march so he, he does uh, garage sales and stuff on video, which is cool. Um, he bought Funko Pop Green Goblin from the Molly Shelf. Um, oh, something else that happened yesterday that we said was going to happen. Well, it did happen. Candace came through and numbered all the shelves. This is shelf nine. Shelf eight, shelf seven. Every shelf in here is numbered. It also has the old labels too, uh, which we'll keep because the current inventory is arranged like that. But the numbers start here with one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be seven, no. Oh wait, that's not an inventory spot. So this is six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And I guess this bench is what is this eleven here, Candace? Yeah, we haven't done yet. Okay, that's that's cool. No. A biggie. Um so yeah we have numbered shelves now we haven't actually listed a single thing with the new number system though but uh yeah looking forward to using that that ought to make things a little better all right this is him right here this big guy green goblin and i'm gonna ship it as economic the shipping was crazy high on this thing i have to take a look at that i might have to figure out some other way to ship it and refund you the difference there david but thank you very much for the order i appreciate it how much shipping did it charge you whoa it charged weight it charged like 25 dollars shipping so i had something something messed up in that listing 12 12 14 and five pounds well I don't know, that seems reasonable for this box, but, hmm, I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'll ship it cheaper if I can. Okay, um, ended up sending this UPS instead, and I just refunded $11 to David. He paid like $25 something. This shipment is only costing me $14 through UPS, so... I'll use this moment as a little teaching moment for both me and for y'all, for some of y'all anyways. Um, the mistake I made on that listing was it was bigger than 12, 12, 12, whatever that works out to be. It was bigger than a cubic foot. Uh, long story short there. What is 12, 12, 12? 12, 12, 12 is 1,728 cubic inches and i was above that and just about any time you're above a cubic foot you i don't think you should list priority at all because it's just going to be too expensive like ridiculously expensive and i know that uh for whatever reason i just listed this 
priority and that's why it didn't sell i had 600 funko pops that i bought in that same buy and 599 of them sold and this one didn't and that's why because i didn't put uh i should have put ups or fedex on that um shipping charge so yeah that's why that's why it didn't sell but uh i did refund the overpay uh david thank you very much again for the business and best of luck with your nc picker youtube channel okay next up some more phone stuff phone jacks so this is lot of 16 double jacks and i did just count them out real quick to make sure they're all there the only thing about this uh stuff here is that the listing had free shipping on it <laughs> so uh 9.99 free ship basically i'm probably gonna lose probably gonna lose a little on this i don't know why i had free shipping but i did i'm probably gonna lose a buck or two the product thankfully the product itself is free but i'm gonna lose whatever it costs me to ship so plus the ebay fees i'm gonna lose that um so yeah hmm. that stinks okay the label cost me eight dollars and 65 cents so i think i'm i think i'm probably right at breaking even on this real close to it because my ebay fees will probably be be blah, probably be about a buck 30 that sounds about right so i might make a penny or two here <laughs> okay next up we have two phone jacks of all things going out to joshua um 249 plus shipping on top thank you very much joshua really appreciate it okay next up is a remote control for a handy cam it's on the simon shelf Oh, it must be in this bin right here. It's got to be. I don't anticipate having situations where we don't have inventory. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is it right here. Sold this for, and I'm, I listed this as never being used because it doesn't look used at all. Sold this for $5.94 plus shipping on top. Candace sold some of her barbie mcdonald's toys from when she was a kid from ebay shelf candace are you sure you don't want to change your mind I'm good. huh I'm good. okay i could cancel the order you could keep them our account would take a hit but that's okay if you really want them uh but anyway richard bought these i think for his daughter yes for uh ten dollars plus shipping on top thank you very much richard do appreciate it uh amber said yay these barbies are exactly my error brought back some memories thanks candace parentheses and lonnie <laughs> i've learned a lot watching you thanks for everything you do for resellers amber and ambies attic Okay, that is the other thing, the other Barbie thing that Candace sold, which are these. Ooh, a bunch of them here, 11 of them. Sure not to drop them. So thank you very much to Amber. We appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. Derek bought some 80s He-Man Masters Universe lot and a mini comic on the ebay shelf um oh candace is it everything in this uh yellow thing right here what is it i'm sorry the he-man lot i guess it's all this stuff huh i'll, I'll check with the yeah. photo but i think I it's every it, but i put it all in there to keep it together okay yep. uh 41 dollars i think plus shipping on top so thank you very much derek Derek actually even left feedback uh, before before uh, we shipped. So that was kind of cool. 
takes the pressure off a bit, but I hope you enjoy uh, enjoy that lot. I'm gonna pull one more thing. I think everything else I, I'm pulling, yeah, everything else I'm pulling here of your sales. <laughs> uh, Nathan bought a gift for his son, who is a big Power Rangers son. Uh, Hayden, Hayden is his son. Ozarks flips on eBay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the bookshelf. This is a trade paperback, I guess, or graphic novel, however you want to call it. Uh, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Nathan. I hope Hayden enjoys. All right, next order has four parts on it. Candace is just about to lit. Where is he? He's right up. Oh, this thing is cool. Candace will grab a box of Batman. Look at this. He's got fold out, like, wings. stiff wings. Yeah. Got a wing suit with a mo Is that like a rocket on the back of it or something? Just decorative, yeah. That's cool. Oh, no, it's not a real rocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's too wide for this display, so once Lonnie finishes packing, we're going to put up the trifold board over there. Yeah. He's do. cool. Yeah. Candace looked for this thing, and she only found one. One oh. active in Great Britain and one sold on Worth Point. Yeah. And tw like two years ago, right? Yeah. So 2018 looks like a good candidate for an auction to me um let's see jeffrey uh nice to see candace in the shed hope you two have a wonderful and successful 2021 uh thank you very much jeff Dude, this is hot wheels. he ordered four things what is that this is hot wheels is it mm -hmm. that's kind of cool it's die cast is there what is supposed to go over here so jeffrey got four things uh, let's see, Fish Self, Total Armor, Batman, Brave and the Bold, Kick Puncher, Joker, Action. Boy, that's quite a title. That's a mouthful. Fish. It's going to be in here. Total Armor. That's it. So that is part one of the order. We're going to test this inventory system out today because it's got a lot of stuff. I think our inventory system is going to hold up. I feel like our inventory is pretty strong right now. We'll see how it is in the middle of the year, right? Uh, Pippin Shelf, the Daleks, Daleks on Pippin Shelf. And I'll, oh, it's over here. Daleks. They're bagged up. Two of them. Two of them, red and white. Red and white, got it. And then let's see what else is on this order. Three dark archers from Small's drawer, right here. Let's see, one, uno, dos, tres. Dark archers with their accessories and whatnot. And then finally, oh, also from the Small's drawer, uh, two cases of the Sports Illustrated Olympic pens. So there's all your stuff there. Uh, Jeffrey and I am going to be um, combining shipping. I'll see. I imagine. Boy, this stuff is kind of light. I don't think it can get in under 16 ounces, but I'll try. Whatever I whatever I get it down to, I'll give you a refund. Thanks again, Jeffrey. Sold another action figure. I was actually looking at this photo last night. Pippin shelf, I think. I was looking at this photo last night, and I was just. Is this a shelf? Yeah, this is it. And I saw this guy and I was like, man, that picture is so cool. Candace's action figure pictures, they're really quite good. <laughs> Don't you think, Candace? Yep. I mean, I, I like I that's one thing that I do like about action figures. I get some satisfaction out of uh taking photographs of them. I can tell Candace is too, because she's posing them just right and taking good pictures of them. This setup is really good for action figures too. It's not good for everything, but it's perfect for these. Look at that. Just perfect. Our, some of these action figures that Candace is putting pictures up, up of, they're probably the best pictures of these action figures on eBay. Don't yeah, you think? A lot of them are like on dressers. Oh yeah. Imagine like teenage boys or whatever just throwing it up on their dresser and taking a picture. Right. 
So anyway, this uh, Rhino Ultimate Rhino action figure uh, sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top. Sold one of these religious prints. Uh, this is Saint Saint John the Baptist. Uh, Dan is buying this for his brother as a birthday gift. So thank you very much to Dan. Uh, hope your brother likes the gift. Appreciate it. Okay, three more orders. Then I can start listing too. Arthas Blizzard. Heroes of the Storm, Funko Mystery Minis, World of Warcraft. Okay, that's in the smallest drawer. And, boy, that is another really good picture. This sold for $9.99 PSOT. And it is going out to Rob. Appreciate it, Rob. Hope you like the fig. Candace is working on the this uh, cool motorcycle back here. And Robin's little, little go-kart. Little go-kart, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Which fit, fits in there. He's a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Batman gets the big, big awesome motorcycle and Robin gets a freaking go-kart. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, oh, Christy bought some makeup. Um, 14 Voluptuous Vanilla. Chubby in the nude foundation stick. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, 19. Box 19. Right here. Here we go. It's a chubby stick. I forgot the number, but I remember the name. Voluptuous in the nude. Voluptuous. Oh no. Chubby in the nude, voluptuous vanilla. Here we go, right here. So, so thank you very much, Christy. Appreciate it, and I hope you like your chubby stick. And last thing is a George Harrison photo, 1974 rock concert. It's S7. It's right here in this little plastic thing. I guess I had these priced too high before. Even at this at this money, I'm making making a fine profit. So yeah, here it is. S S seven. Um, Loretta said, "I almost had a heart attack when I saw the other slides." So I just sold another George Harrison yesterday. So uh, Loretta said, "Thank you for all the knowledge you share." Happy Candace is on board from Sadie's Music and More. Thank you very much, Loretta. Hope you enjoy. Your George Harrison original slide there. I do appreciate it. Uh, let me pack these and pretty soon I'll be eating some lunch and then I can join Candace for some listing. Boy, you're enjoying this motorcycle, aren't you? I'm trying to get the lighting right. I know. She look, she's got two of the big lights off. This thing ring lights are good. The ring lights are glary. Like yeah, if you have, it's a very shiny thing. Yeah, a windshield and stuff. Let me see how they. That's the weakness of the ring lights. I think is the glare. Like if you had a soft box. They probably make diffusers, huh? All right, packages are out. Yearbooks are gone. Took those to Goodwill along with a few other things. Um, and we're listing now. Candace has already been listing. I think she's got. Candace has five listings up already, and I'm just now starting to list. Boy, you've got some cool ones. Is that the base he goes with? Yeah. You've got some cool Batman today. That says auction. Is that? Oh, you have R2D2 Post-it notes. Mm -hmm. When'd you get those? <clears throat> I have had them for a while. I just never used them. Didn't somebody email and say uh, they wanted to tour your desk? <laughs> I have my Star Wars vinyls and Funkos, and then Strictly Boba Fett and Mandalorian. Okay, and then a skull head. And the then... skull was in here before. That's yours, actually. Yeah. Remember? I, I was going to do that for hats, but I don't even use anything for hats. I just plop hats. Down. It held Molly's anime wig for a little while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what is that hand thing? What, what's going Just on decoration. here? Where'd you get that? 
Michaels, I think. Oh, okay. This is artwork Sarah made for me probably about three or four years ago for Mother's Day. Yep. That's cool. Yep. All know. right, there's your tour. She's got her heater, her computer. Oh, and then my uh, autograph. Oh. And we still, like I said, we still have to do some uh, move, sign work in here. Move signs around. We're, that's going to be a weekend thing. Uh, that is signed by Peter Mayhew. And it's a, that is, that picture is just freaking awesome. Yeah, I love it. I got that in a buy from my guy and Candace took it. <laughs> no, you gave it to me. Yeah, I did. But I knew, I knew you would want it. Officially licensed Star Wars photograph. I don't guess that necessarily authenticates the... It's probably like from Comic-Con or somewhere like it that. It is. It says uh, something convention photos on the back. It's stamped back yeah. there. So I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that that's a good autograph. Yep, I'd like to get a frame for it. Yeah. A nice matted frame. So Candace is working on her action figs, which action figs are going well. Uh, I actually, let me pull this up. I, some of y'all might want to join this Facebook group. So this is the thing. I didn't know what it was. And honestly, I didn't even use Google Lens. It probably could have identified it too. Um, but it's made by Camillus, which also have pocket knives by them. And it folds up just like a pocket knife, except it has this weird, weird blade thing on it or whatever the heck that is. I didn't know what it was, so I posted it on this Facebook group right here. What is this? Antique, vintage, and unusual item identification. And I posted my photos. Folds up like a pocket knife, but what is it? And I immediately got like a whole ton of answers like a lot of wrong answers but also got the right answer by a couple of people timber scribe and then once i searched that i found it sold anywhere from 40 to 90 dollars uh on worth point so now i know exactly what it is so y'all might want to add y'all might want to join the what is this group on facebook in case you need it sometime so we're not completely I don't think we're perfect on photos by by any means but we've got something that kind of works like this small setup here uh works really really well for small stuff um uh, i think the like i said earlier the photos candace has been taken of uh action figs on this setup some of the best on ebay in my opinion some things are too big though for this his wings are too wide so like cut you can see it's not perfectly white behind him. You right. can see the edges. So we have this set up now. Just foam board, a trifold and a flat. Yeah. The, this was ten bucks, I think, at Walmart, and then the other stuff is like a buck something. And it's good. I mean like the quality the quality isn't definitely is not um of the photos on this setup definitely isn't as good as this one but it's still pretty good and with the wings you it's really you could take pictures of very big stuff and keep it all in a white background so i straightened these hands out i kind of I took them off put them back on and i think i freed it up but i'm gonna let it run for a few hours and see if it's keeping good time or not so far it is. I've only, I, I did all that at 225 and then I set it. So I'm going to check it later. Uh, that clock. See see what's what. Right now I'm working on some photographs. I already took pictures of this stack. I'm going to sell them all in like one big lot. But there's some cool ones here. There's some military I'm not sure when this is from. I'm not. I almost want to. I almost want to think these might be like occupied Japan, but I don't know. I'm guessing. Here's a guy. Looks like he's celebrating New Year's. Maybe. Look, these guys are fighting a fire. 
some pretty good subject matter here. Here's a guy with a dog and a bucket. What is this? Some railroad tracks. This dude is throwing something. Oh, he's throwing a baseball. There's some kids watching. Um, oh, these are cool. These are going to go with a lot, too. It's like, look like a motorcycle club or something. Look, this guy's like pushing his bike through a ditch. And here, there's a biker babe there on the right. So, yeah, there's some pretty cool subject matter here. Well, there's not much going on here except a whole bunch of figure listing. Candace is putting out her award winning. I think you might have a shot at the eBay photo awards this year. Stop. <laughs> no, but look. I know Candace is going to like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you like that? Whoa, how much do you like it? Oh, my God. Am I about to not be able to list it? I wish it didn't have creases in it. Well, I mean, it's it's been folded. Well, I understand. If it didn't have creases, I would keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that movie? Oh, yeah. I don't. Cry Baby? Is it, like, supposed to be, like, Grease or something? Look at him. Yep. Is it supposed to be like Grease? It is a pretty ridiculous movie. You'll have to watch it. She just took my uh, memory card. I guess I gotta buy another camera. That's no. okay. Y'all don't want to know how many business uh, expenses we've had. I don't think we're ever going to make money. <laughs> oh, man, we've spent so much money on, like, printing and stuff so far. I don't guess I should say that, though. Yeah, Candace is getting in the groove today. She's got... Is that board accurate up there? Yep. Okay. She's already got 10. We've still got... Got about an hour and 10 minutes left to go. I've only got four. All right, Candace is on. Is this up to date? Yes. Well, you did good today. She did uh, four. This is your biggest listing day so far, huh? Yep. I don't know what time it is. Are we done? Uh, we're close to done. Yeah. We're, oh yeah, we're done. Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was like four thirty. I was kind of weak today, although I did. What did I do today? I don't know. I had. I did not have a productive day. You packed nine items. No, I didn't. I packed 16 orders. Oh. Excuse it was me. like 21. It was like 21 items. What did I spend my time on? I don't even know. We did have a couple of places to go. UPS. Yeah, but still, that's not a whole day. I know. I don't know what I did. What did I do today? I worked all day. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Actually, I I did put together some lots. That takes a little more time. Yeah, you, some of yours you had a lot of research. Like those posters and those Toy Story things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But you did good today, at least. Yeah. Got my slack. Got my Batman groove on today. Yeah, she did 14. I did 7. We've got 21. That's going to be it for today, as far as that goes. Uh, we are giving away this stuff. It doesn't look quite as nice as it did on <laughs> Instagram post, does it? <laughs> okay. I finally, I think, I hope, figured out how to do this. So, this is a map, right? Yeah, this is some kind of... Con it has five-star re review on App Store. And it's got like 1,300 reviews. And everybody seems to like it. So, we're doing count each user once. We've got 906 comments, by the way. Number of winners, one. Number of substitutes, zero. Minimum tags required zero. Okay, start giveaway. Giveaway session starting in... Oh, this is exciting. It's counting down. Choosing one out of 906. Coffee House Treasure is getting a mug. And a box resizer oh, yeah. and a sticker. I'm just saying awesome. because of their name. Who is this? First, Coffee House Treasure. Look, they have a picture of a little coffee cup there. Yeah. Okay, whoops. Oh, great. I hit it twice and my Apple Pay thing came up. All right. <laughs> hit next up. Let's go. Okay. What is that? Um, okay. Winner. That's it. What's, it said next step, and then all it did was make it bigger. Well, you can... You can crop that. Okay. And we'll we'll post it. I already did an Instagram post for today. So, I forgot. So should we... Uh, but we can still post it. So coffee house, whatever. We need to announce it on Instagram 
And it's on the video, so get in touch with us. How? Uh, Shed Flicks. Shed Flicks? <laughs> Are we doing movies now? <laughs> Not on this channel. <laughs> Shed Flicks. Shed Flips at gmail.com. Shed Flips at gmail.com. Yep. Email us, and we're probably going to go, or we will go through uh, some type of identity verification thing. Yep. Where we'll probably get you to comment on this the post. Video. No. We're going we're gonna, to, the they email us, and then we say, hey, on Instagram, post this code word on our latest post. And they do that. Then we know that the owner of that Instagram account and the person that sent us the email are indeed the same person. See, gotcha. that's the only way we can do it. Otherwise, I've. But what if someone hacks their Instagram account? Well, then <laughs> uh, we can't do anything about that. I've had dirty cheaters in doing in yeah, these contests to before. Stuff, yeah. Dirty rotten cheaters. Yep. Um, Fevers. What else? What What else is going on? Anything? Anything like? We, you know what, you know what's working is this back-to-back -back photography yeah. stations. Yep. Um, we can't leave that set up all the. We can't leave them either. One of them set up all the time, but. Well, this is okay right now because I'm not packing knives. But yeah. when we do have knives, um, this is going to have to be taken down every day. It takes five minutes though. Right. And then this, of course, is the packing table for everything else. Yeah. So, but setting that up takes five minutes, and it's not yeah, a big deal. I think it worked like, and we're not packing stuff after lunch. Can we put this on a bungee and just raise it? Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> I'm such a great engineer. I'm kind of short. It's hard for me to get this thing in there. When I guess I can do it before I put it on. The I think table. it's I think it's too tall for you in general. No, it's perfect. My camera's right here. Is it? Yep. Okay. It's perfect. But it's not good for flats. That that setup is not good for flats. Or for big stuff, this setup is good for flats and for big stuff. Yep. So I think we've we're we're working on it, but I think we've got a workable solution there. Mm -hmm. Probably rambling a little too much here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a good productive day. You think? I have. Did you enjoy yourself today? Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Good. It was interesting. Um, there's so many Batman figures out there, so. Oh man. Yeah. If. if I don't like action figures. I especially hate Batman. <laughs> you had your fill. No, I've had my fill. Of you know how much Batman stuff I've sold? I, know. <laughs> I hate that dude. I hate. I, know, I, I didn't like Batman before I started selling that stuff. And now that I've sold all that Batman stuff, I absolutely abhor. Abhor? Is that the name? Abhor? Ab abhor? Abhor? Abhor. I abhor Batman. Who's your favorite character? My favorite. Superhero. I don't, I don't even like superheroes. Do have you ever known me to like a superhero? No. I don't like any of them. You don't like anything. That's not true. What uh, do you like? Huh? What do you like? What do you mean? Oh, you know what I like? I like, um, for lunch, I had a brisket sandwich on a no, brioche bun. Woo! That was good. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? No. I like brisket. No, like in, in the fandom worlds, what do you like? I don't. I like. I don't. You know me very well. Like, do you? Do I? Am I like? I didn't know you might have a secret obsession. I didn't know about. I don't. Okay. <laughs> do I? I don't think so. Like, I have like I have a passing interest in like I like Star Wars. Okay, but I'm not like enamored with it. No, you're not. I'm not. No, no I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not fanboy of any of that stuff. So, now we're re really rambling. We'll see y'all again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Good night. And who is who's the winner? Congrats, Coffee House. Congrats. Got <laughs> a Casey. Coffee House Treasure. <laughs> Coffee House Treasure. Congratulations. Get in touch with us. Shedflips at gmail.com. Bye, y'all.